Zimande has called for an urgent meeting with the alliance partners to discuss the situation in Changa in Durban. Now, this comes after two people were killed on Sunday at a community meeting. It has emerged that the meeting was aimed at mending relations between the ANC members who had different views ahead of the ANC's Eteguini Regional Elective Conference, where Zandile Kumete was elected as chairperson. Now, the clashes come ahead of local government elections to be held later in the year. Our reporter Linda Mkopos is tracking that story and is on the line from Durban now. Linda, a very good afternoon to you. The weekend clashes come ahead of local government elections, which are due in August. Are these going to now characterize the pre-election period, you think? Um, good afternoon, Alicia. Um, yes, and, uh, it, it, it really is worrying what and, uh, we see on the ground in Guazul Natal. And uh, at the ANC, when and, uh, we interviewed them uh, on Monday after the killing of the two people, and they did and they say they, they, they are aware of the instability and, uh, in that area at Injanga. And today, and, uh, when the SACP General Secretary and uh, Blayton Zimande visited and, uh, one of the uh, victims' uh, family, uh, a 68-year-old and uh, Mr. Philip Lamini uh, did and uh, mentioned the fact that and, uh, there was something and uh, not going well within the alliance and uh, in the province. He uh, stated that and, uh, before Polokwane, before Mangawu, this province was united, but and, uh, it does look like uh, at the moment and uh, it's, it's just the opposite. And uh, he's called and, uh, uh, for an, a very urgent meeting, a provincial meeting of the alliance, alliance partners as well as a national one and uh, to actually and, uh, deal with this problem. Uh, Dr. Mzimande said uh, uh, Natal has seen violence in the past and, uh, which was between the ANC and the IFP and uh, definitely and, uh, in uh, 2016 they don't want a repeat of that. Linda, look, he also uh, uh, called yes. Look, Linda, tell us more about the shootings. Um, look, I'm sure there must be some talk on the ground. Is this really election-related violence or, in fact, the internal factions within members? What is the real story there? The real story, and uh, we were told today by the SACP in that area that uh, people of that community went to them and said they were being blocked by the ANC to join the ANC, uh, which uh, we all know as gatekeeping. Uh, so when they reported this to the SACP, the SACP took it to the ANC nationally, and they claimed that they actually had a meeting uh, with um, Mr. Greg Mandashe, and now nothing has happened, and they were reporting back. So and, uh, definitely, and uh, you cannot separate that meeting uh, uh, with the SACP and uh, ANC and uh, tension. All right, thanks for that update. That is Linda Mkopozi, and she's live to us from Durban.